What an honor. Good morning, ACN. Man, we got some excited people this morning. I feel so blessed to just be a part of ACN and uh, be involved in this amazing opportunity. And what's crazy is I can't even believe today's already the last day of our international training event. Didn't time go by so fast? Just in the last two days and just all the information and the training and, and the announcements that were given this weekend, I believe was just enough for every one of us to have a breakthrough and go back to our marketplaces and take our businesses to the next level. And I get so excited anytime I have an opportunity uh, to share uh, my topic and train on this stage because I sat in your seats just many years ago uh, wondering if I could make it happen. Uh, in fact, just four years ago was my uh, uh, first time at this convention sitting in uh, that section with about two dozen people and came to this convention um, as an ETT getting promoted to e ETL. And I remember just watching all the leaders on stage and seeing them just share uh, their stories and just go over how, you know, they became successful really gave me hope. But at the same time, I wasn't quite sure um, if I could explode in this business and make it happen by, by continuing uh, to come to these trainings and continuing to bring uh, people to the international convention, something just magical happens where you can't explain it and it just explodes for you. And I know that time is going to happen for so many of you guys in this room uh, because you know you want this business to work or else you wouldn't have came here. I heard so many stories of some people that drove all across the country, 30, 40 hours to be here. I've heard people fly from other countries. I've even heard a story from one of my uh, a team members who flew from Korea to New York and took a bus all the way to another area, then took a car ride and totaled his car, lost his wallet, lost all his money, but literally stood by a gas station for a few hours doing this, can't even speak English well, and got a ride to the convention, didn't even have an ID. But thanks to Mr. Mike Kane, you know, we made it happen and he's in this training. It just shows you that if you got that desire and you want this to work and you're willing to do whatever it takes, I promise you guys, whether it takes three years, five years, one day, you'll be walking the stage as a team coordinator, RD, RVP, SVP. So I'm excited for all of you guys to get some great training. Uh, so I'm going to start off by talking about something. Uh, that kind of woke me up and really taking a look at what's happening in the world, uh, which all of us can agree there's a major recession, not just here in the U.S., uh, but all over the world. And as I read this article just a few weeks ago, there was a survey done, right, out of a thousand households that says 96% of the people actually know somebody that hasn't lost a job in the last few years. And I think all of us can probably think of somebody in our heads right now and we know somebody did really lose a job. In fact, a lot of people. In fact, 44% of the people um, had to move away because of uh, maybe their business or their job or financial issues. And 30% of the people knew someone that has lost their homes. And I know all of us in this room, if we look back five years ago or even go back 10, we know somebody that had to lose their home and it was very sad and devastating. It says right there, 27% of the people in the last one year know someone that had filed bankruptcy. So can we agree right now, people need a plan B more than ever before. People need ACN more than ever before. And what's amazing is nine plus years ago, my family was affected by the economy as well. In fact, I grew up in Southern California my entire life, and I was always taught by my mom, I got to go to school, get good grades, and I have to go to college to be successful. So I was enrolled in school full time, but because I was off track, I actually attended spare time whenever I wanted. <laughs> and at the same time, I used to work at Disneyland scooping ice cream for $8 an hour. So I wasn't what you call a good child or somebody who was someone uh, you should be proud of. But here's what happened to me in April of 2005 that gave me a reality check. I got a phone call out of nowhere from my older sister and she called me and said, Mike, it's an emergency, we need to talk. I asked her what's going on and she said, mom didn't tell you this, 
yet, but because of the economy, she's gonna close her business down. And at the same time, um, she has to uh, possibly file bankruptcy. And when she gave me that call, I don't know what it was, but I got scared about not only my future, but my mom's future, my sister's future, because she was literally the dad and mom of the house. So I started looking for other ways to make money, and that's how I ran across network marketing and met the greatest mentors of my life. And they sat me down, and they asked me a question. Where were you five years ago? Where was your family five years ago? And ask yourself if your life has changed much since then. And I looked at the situation. My mom had a business. She lost it. We're about to lose our home. Our bank account didn't upgrade. Our car didn't upgrade. And he asked me one question. He said, what about five years from today, Mike? Where do you want to be? Where does your family want to be? And he talked about how you can't change your destination overnight. You're not going to get into a new car tomorrow just because you were at the training. You're not going to go to a new home next week just because you were at the training. But he told me I could change the direction. By being here, you made a choice to change your direction towards success. Ladies and gentlemen, by taking a lot of notes and applying what you were taught this weekend, three, five years from today, you can be in your dream car. You can be in your dream home. You can retire your family members. It's not gonna happen overnight, but how many of you guys are just excited thinking about that one day, three, five years from today, giving your family what they deserve? And you can achieve all of those if you go out there and get the right training. See, everybody needs the right training. See, professional athletes, they train their entire life so they can be a pro one day and they continue to train every single day. Musicians, they train their entire life as well. Doctors train for 12 years not making money, learning so one day they can help people make a lot of money but they continue to train. Same with firefighters, same with every industry. So whenever you come to these conventions, not only are you getting the right training, but you gotta practice it daily. You gotta attend your weekly trainings. You gotta attend your regional trainings. You gotta attend local leadership. Every training there is, you cannot afford to miss one because each time you miss, ladies and gentlemen, is another step backwards for you getting closer to your goals and dreams. So let's talk about it. There's two ways to learn. One is personal experience. Second way to learn, ladies and gentlemen, is other people's experience. People that already made it happen. People that are already successful. People that are where you want to be in life. Not the broke people that tell you I try something like this. Or not someone, ladies and gentlemen, who's not committed to showing up to all events. But somebody that's a role model. And what's amazing about our company is we have the most incredible leadership. We have the most amazing senior vice presidents, circle of champions, RVPs, presidents clubs that are all learning from the four individuals who started this company, which are the ACN co-founders. Over 100 years of combined experience, 20 plus years of proven system. When I joined this company in 2010, I saw this company at a half a billion dollars in annual revenue. Just two years ago, I saw this company break over 570. Last year, this company broke over 700 million. We're on track to breaking a billion dollars real soon. Do you think our co-founders know what they're doing? They put the perfect system in place where an average person could get involved Come to ACN University, three to five years graduate, and I'm telling you right now, this opportunity is simple, but you got to follow the system, and the back office and the marketing team did such a great job, whether you live in a market where there's no training or there's already a training going on, everybody has a similar system where we're gonna copy. So what we go over in our training, on our weekly training is obviously we start off with mindset, getting started and having the right mindset. It is so important we discuss in training how to sign up and set up your online store. It's so important we explain the benefits of your business assistant in our Saturday training. It's mostly important to discover what their why is. We talk about business ownership versus employee because nine plus years ago, I never owned a business. I made $8 an hour, so I have to understand profits versus wages. 
We talk about there's going to be ups and downs because, ladies and gentlemen, let's face it, emotional roller coaster is something all of us goes through, and we must prepare our new ideas. They're going to go through it as well. And we must talk about its long-term thinking. We also discuss compensation plan. People get involved in ACN and pay a price because there's a compensation plan attached to it. That's where we talk about how residual income works. We talk about the basics, ETT and ETL. You don't need to discuss how to hit TC, RD, RVP, SVP on a weekly training. That's more for advanced leadership. We talk about the right now money, team customer acquisition bonus. We talk about how that works and we must make sure people see results in ACN. Now, customer acquisition is probably the most important topic in a Saturday training. Now, customer acquisition, ladies and gentlemen, is so simple. Now, with the Will Play for Food video, you click that, ladies and gentlemen, people, people feel good. People feel like they're doing the right thing. And I'm sharing with you right now, customer acquisition has never been simple. But it's important we talk about their website. It's very important we talk about how they need to sign up for their own services, or that doesn't even make sense. And we definitely need to show them the right approach, which is our script. Ladies and gentlemen, my first 30 days was horrible in customer acquisition because I really didn't apply the script. So make sure you share stories and make sure your job in the training is to make sure our brand new people don't have to make the mistakes we made. Now team building is obvious. We talk about how we're going to recruit people, obviously, how to make a list without prejudging, what's the PBR and why PBRs are so important and why is that the most duplicatable way of building our business. We talk about edification. We talk about sorting, not convincing in our Saturday trainings. Now, promoting event is very important, we know that. We have to teach our brand new IBOs at our Saturday training what are events and why they are so important. But for those of you in this room that are saying, well, you know, Saturday training, it's kind of boring. I've been to every single Saturday training and never skipped a Saturday training for nine plus years of my life. Some of the biggest success stories in my team, they never skipped a Saturday training one time in their life. But I remember when I first got started in the industry because I was in college, because it was Saturday morning and because I had a full-time job, I used to complain a lot. Why do I got to go again when I heard the same information last week? Can I just look at my notes? <laughs> Can I just like watch the recording? And my mentor said, Mike, you don't get it. He literally woke me up. And he said, think about what most people do for their career. Whether you own a business, whether you have a job, let's face it, isn't it exactly the same thing every day? eight to 10 hours a day, that's what I used to do. I had to go to Disneyland, take off my Asian gangster earrings I used to wear. I had to wear a uniform that did not look that nice, and you have to have your original hair color or you get fired. So for $8 an hour, I showed up 30 minutes before work every single time, worked four or five times a week, and my mentor said, you would do that for $8 an hour, but you're not okay with doing the same exact thing every single week so you could be financially independent? And that's when I realized I had to plug in and I had to master it. So why is training so important? This is where we train the business. This is where it builds belief, opportunity in the services. This is where we uh, educate the IBOs on creating duplication, which is the secret on exploding your business. And we obviously know training events unlocks potential and refills the tanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I know there's some people in this room right now where this weekend was what you needed. This weekend gave you hope again. This weekend gave you that belief again. This weekend, you know that you know that you know. And that's what weekly trainings do in a smaller scale to regional events, to international events. So the flow of a weekly training, ladies and gentlemen, goes like this. Meeting before the meeting. See, all leaders know we show up early not to have fun, but to have our meeting before the meeting. Then we have our overview, then we have our training, then we obviously have the meeting after the meeting, which is closing and setting up more PBRs, and ultimately all we're really doing is sorting to see who we're gonna run with. See, if people don't show up, we don't know who we're gonna run with. That's why you being here, I promise you, 
Your upline leadership is so proud to grab you and run with you that if I were you, I'll be setting up PBRs for this week, left and right, so busy that your upline says, I can't even show up to all of them, that you're gonna end up doing it yourself and be proud of yourself. So the 15 minutes before the meeting and the 15 minutes after the meeting is the most important parts of the meeting. And that's from the chairman and the co-founder of ACM, Mr. Robert Stevanoski. So for those of you that used now in the past showed up on time, let's remember what Jim Rohn says, early is on time, on time is late, and late is unheard of. Late is unheard of. So don't wait to be led, start leading. See, when I got started four years ago, I moved to a city, Houston, Texas, to start ACN. And there was no trainings going on there. There was no weekly meetings going on there. I didn't have the title Senior Vice President. I didn't have the title RVP. I didn't have the title. My sponsor, closest mentor at the time, was in South Korea's Las, Las Vegas, Mr. Danny Bay, running Asia. My other mentors like Mr. Mike Kane, Mr. Larry Raskin, I couldn't ask them to help me start a meeting. Every single one of them told me leadership Ladies and gentlemen, it's just making a decision that anybody that makes up their mind that they're going to be a leader and start leading, then the pin's going to come. So I decided, you know what? Let's go to our favorite place and start our weekly meeting and trainings. And guess where that was? Starbucks. Every one of you, no matter what location you're in, you know you got a Starbucks. You could go to any country, you got a Starbucks. That Starbucks is awesome. It's 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, all the people in Houston are like, yep, that's my office too. And, and we would do one-on-ones at that Starbucks because we didn't have a big team. We would do our training at that Starbucks because we didn't have a big team. But eventually, ladies and gentlemen, after doing trainings consistently and just by leading exa by example, we started our first weekly training, ladies and gentlemen, right there. You guys, if you guys notice, that's very small compared to what most people have in Saturday trainings, but it all starts somewhere. But we kept painting the vision. We kept painting the vision, and we brought people, ladies and gentlemen, to this convention, and it gave more leaders more confidence that they're in the right company with the right people, and they started all seeing the vision. I don't know what it is, this convention does it. And we kept sharing the vision, and more people wanted to be leaders, so after four years of people following the system and doing the exact same thing, duplicating what ACN teaches us, what ACN culture is, now excess in our organization have Saturday trainings happening in Austin, in Houston, in El Paso, Rio Grande, Dallas, and we recently started Orange County, California as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have what it takes. If there's a training in your local market, plug into it and promote like you've never promoted before. If there's no training in your local market, don't worry about it. Drive as far as you have to until you got the confidence. El Paso Market a few months ago didn't even exist for us. The closest training was 12 hours away by a young lady who just turned 21 years old, Miss Vivian Carrasco, who brought her team once a month to our regionals, 12 hours each time. But she didn't make no excuses, and now there's a Saturday training happening in El Paso as well. Mr. Brandon Westrup and Mr. Armand, who I work with out of Southern California, I lived in Houston at the time, so guess what? They didn't have a local training to start, so they plugged in to the LA training that the Empire team hosted. They plugged in to the training in Orange County, the Rockstar hosted. And when they grew their confidence, guess what they did? They started their own training as well. So where am I going with this? Every one of you can make it happen. Every one of you can promote. And when you combine cities together, this is how regionals in the state of Texas looks like now. And we got our next regional happening in the next few weeks with Senior Vice President Max Snow, so everybody's fired up for that. So ladies and gentlemen, you gotta be obsessed about ACN. You gotta be obsessed about your future. And Think and Grow Rich, it says success is an all-consuming obsession. Don't be afraid to show your 
excitement and love for ACN and get fired up, get jacked up, get obsessed because anybody that tells you you're obsessed, guess what? Obsessed, right there it says, is the word used to describe the dedicated by the lazy people, folks. So from now on, be proud. Be proud of your ACN. Be proud of your obsessed about your future. Be obsessed that you're going to make it happen. And I promise you, you're going to see your goals and dreams become a reality. Because in life, you're either going to suffer the pain of discipline or you're going to suffer the pain of regret. But one thing Jim Rohn says at the best is the pain of discipline weighs ounces, but the pain of regret weighs tons. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the greatest time to be an ACN. This is what all the leaders have been waiting for, just this moment, where the company is growing out of control, where I've seen this company, ladies and gentlemen, almost double in size real soon. I went to Korea two weeks ago to spend time with my dad and visit the Korean National Convention. There's another convention with 10,000 people in Korea. I was so blown away how people are excited in every country we open up. I know Mexico had their grand opening about two months ago, and they had thousands of people on their grand opening as well. You know what gets me excited about ACN? This is just the beginning. Next three to five years, next 10 years, we're going to see this company go to other Asian countries. We're going to see this company open up other Latin American countries. And we get to be a part of this company while it did $700 million last year. There's going to be a point in time where we look back at this moment and be like, I can't believe I was there at the beginning and I made a fortune because I listened to all the trainers that weekend and I never gave up. There's going to be a moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, where every one of you guys are going to look back at this date and say, that was my breakthrough weekend. Because if you can go out there and stop thinking, because if you overthink, it doesn't make sense. A guy like me wasn't supposed to make it. If you overthink and think of probabilities, it just doesn't make sense. Successful people think about the possibilities. Successful think people think about what can happen three to five years thinking positive. And Mr. Danny Bay always told me, don't think, just do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thinking about it is hard. Thinking about it and thinking about every Saturday I'm going to go to training for the rest of my life, it's not that exciting. But I can promise you, if you show up every Saturday training for the rest of your life, eventually you're going to have six Saturdays and a Sunday that the Saturday before the Sunday doesn't even matter. So stop thinking, folks. Stop thinking, should I call somebody? Stop thinking if you can make it happen. Stop thinking because it's just like going to the gym. If you think about, I'm going to go work out, it's sometimes not exciting. But if you do anyways, afterwards you feel good. See, bumblebee story is the craziest. See, bumblebees, ladies and gentlemen, the body's so big compared to its wings, they say scientifically it's not really supposed to fly. They don't understand how it can fly, but ladies and gentlemen, does the bumblebee care or does it just fly? It just flies. You know why? Because it doesn't know how to think. No one told him it can't think. Oh, it can't fly. And that's like some of us in this room. You see, there's so many people in this room that overthink if they can make it happen. But I want to share with you guys a quick story, and we're going to close it out, about two twin brothers that grew up in the same exact same household where the father was an alcoholic. He abused his wife in a way he shouldn't, and they, they were a very broke family. The father actually ended up in jail, and the two twins actually grew up. One became just like his father, also an alcoholic, also abused his wife, also lived a broke, horrible life and ended up in jail. But the other twin son actually became really, really successful. So people got curious, how in the world did the two same exact twins that grew up in the exact same family end up so differently? So they went and interviewed the first son that ended up in jail. They asked him, how did you become the person you are today, ending up in jail, doing the things you've done in your life? And his answer was, with a father like mine, how do I not turn out like him? So they went and interviewed the successful son. And they asked him, you know, with the situation you were in, growing up in the family you did, how in the world did you become so successful? Guess what his answer was? With a father like mine, how do I not end up becoming successful?
You see? I share that story with all of you because every one of us have to make a decision here this morning. Nine plus years ago, when I was 20 years old, going to school in California, working at Disneyland for $8 an hour, when I got that phone call from my older sister, what's happening with my mom, losing everything, I could have easily made an excuse. Because my mom is losing her business, because I am young, because I have no credibility, because I have no money, because I'm not a business person, I can't make this happen. But because, ladies and gentlemen, my why was strong, where I wanted to support my mom, where I don't want my future kids to go through what I have to go through, where I wanted to retire my mom, buy her a house, get her a car, do all the things. I made a decision at my first convention that, you know what, no more making excuses. No more making excuses why I can't, but I'm gonna use my why to make my goals and dreams become a reality. And every single one of you in this room, you can do that as well. Every one of you have what it takes. Every one of you can make it happen. Every one of you, if you pay a price with ACN, you can see your dreams, your goals become a reality, but you just gotta make a commitment from now on that you're gonna be that leader. You're not gonna overthink. You're gonna show up to the next weekly training again, 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 until you see your bank account grow, until see you see your pin grow. And I promise every single one of you guys, if you do those things over and over, one day, out of nowhere, you're gonna see your business duplicate, you're gonna see you have meetings going on all over that you're not in control over, and you're gonna have an organization like Jeff Weber one day where it's so damn big, you're like, wow, I have another RVP in my group somewhere. Because you paid a price. Let's go ACN to a whole nother level. Let's watch this company, ladies and gentlemen, go to a billion, three, four, five billion, because every one of you can build a company within a company, and I truly believe in Phoenix, Arizona, all of you are gonna get promoted to the next pin level, if not the next pin level. So let's make it happen, guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys in Phoenix.